Okay, so what we're going to cover now is, is the basic home plate meeting. So before the game, uh, you usually want to try to start your home plate meeting probably five, five minutes before game time. Um, one thing I would say is that every once in a while you get the teams, they're ready. They're ready before game time. Maybe the infield's done and all the prep is done. And they kind of want to start wandering over and they've got their lineups in hand. Don't let the managers dictate to you as the umpire when the home plate meeting is going to take place. Okay? Because you do. You, you want to kind of have a rhythm and about five minutes before the game starts, that's when you have your home plate meeting. The home plate meeting should probably, it, should, it shouldn't even take five minutes. The home plate meeting should not turn into a rules clinic. Okay, there's just a couple things that you want to make sure that we always do when we're doing our home plate meeting. Okay, so usually I would just yell out, manager of lineup cards, yell it out, and they kind of come out. If they want to bring player reps with them, that's fine. Don't bring out the whole team, hopefully, but somebody's going to come out. Okay, all right, guys, how's it going? Uh, you guys are the home team, right? Okay, so let me take your lineup from you. Okay, all right, I don't see any duplicate numbers. All right, Kyle, you've got one, two, three, four subs today, is that right? Okay, and let's see, your starting pitcher is number 21, Ahola. All right, and your catcher is number three. All right, good thing. Okay, here's a copy of their lineup for you, Dylan. All right, I'll take your lineup from you. All right, you don't have any duplicate numbers that I can see here. Okay, and you've got one, two, three, four subs today as well. All right, and your pitcher is number nine, Echeverry. Your catcher is going to be number 11. Okay. Do uh, you have any guys that are not eligible to pitch today, Kyle? Yeah. Okay. Any guys not eligible to pitch for you? All right. Yeah, that, the first day of the tournament, that's probably usually the case. All right. Uh, just a couple things, guys. Make sure that all the jewelry is off on your side of the field, okay? Um, I saw a couple of uh, a couple of the necklaces when we were kind of running through the field, things like that. So make sure all the, all the jewelry is off all the players. All right, and that, that should take care of that. In between innings, let's make sure we're hustling in and out. We're going to go six pitches or one minute in between. So if your catcher's left on base, make sure you get another guy out here one base pitcher because I don't want to cut him short on his warm-up pitches. All right, and the last thing I have for you, all your players are properly and legally equipped today. All your players are properly and legally equipped. All right, all right, main thing, uh, if you're going to have any changes, go ahead and get those through me, and I'll get those to the scorekeeper. And if you need a pitch count, Ask me, just ask for time, and I'll get the pitch count for you. You guys don't need to be approaching the scorekeeper. I can get any of that information for you that you need. All right? That's good. All right, let's have some fun. Go ahead and take the field, Kyle, and we'll get rolling. Get him. If it's not a regular. Okay, so a couple of things just, just that, you'll, that you'll notice. We always want to ask for the home team's lineup first, okay? Um, and then we always give this, and, and sometimes, hopefully they'll come up with copies, sometimes they'll hand me the whole stack and I just say, you know, I just need your top two, because I need one for me and I need one that I'm going to give to the other manager. Alright, so I do those same things before I do that. If there's a sense that, that maybe, just I just want to verify, if I don't know that both teams have play, played on this field before, and if not, then I might go over some of the ground rules about the catch and carry and fence line extended or any of those local ground rules that we might have. Okay. And then also if there's a chance that, that maybe we don't know each other, I would introduce Dennis to both managers, introduce myself, and we will get those things taken care of. But in a regular season game, these might be managers that you're probably working with all the time. So you can kind of get those details and you don't need to do that every single game. Um, anything else? And then a lot of times too, I might say, Dennis, anything else? No, I think you covered it all, Dave. Let's do our play ball yeah and, and again the thing to remember is this is not the time to mess around this is not the time to talk about you know the game before or any of those sorts of things I don't talk about my strike zone okay a lot of times the, the coaches will say what's your strike zone gonna be and if they ask me that I just say well if it's a strike I'll call it okay um, and same thing with box they want to know are you gonna be calling box yeah if we see a box we'll call it and, and there's some intricacies there you don't say yes we will be calling box because then you got the potential for a little bit of, I say if I see a box, I will call it. So I don't say if there is a box, I will call it because now there's differences of opinion as to whether that was a box or not. Okay, so don't get into, yeah, my strike zone is wide, my strike zone is low, my strike zone is big because the first time that you don't call it the way you said you were going to call it, you're going to hear about it from the, from the players and or the managers. So just, you know, if it's a strike, I'll call it a strike. And they can't argue with that. It's a judgment call. They can never argue a judgment call. Yeah. So, you know, there's also, and uh, a lot of times, you know, some umpires will say, and if you know, if you disagree with a call, 
ask for time, um, go talk to the umpire. I usually don't get into that because I don't even want to set up the potential that there's going to be a call they're going to argue about. It should be, and the manager should know that if they need time out, they ask for time and they can come and talk about the call if they want to. But I don't get into that and set that up that, oh, if you have, if we have a call that you don't like, come out and talk to us about it. I, I don't, I don't get into any of that stuff at all. Quick, quick manager, the home plate meeting, because if you get into that kind of stuff, it'll run five and 10 minutes and before you know it, you're past game time and, and uh, everybody's wondering why we haven't thrown the first pitch yet. So. And once you're given the lineups, it's now your game. Yeah, especially early in the season, yeah, if there's rain is an issue or something like that, it's 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 not the umpires call as to whether the game is going to start. But if it's if they say and the managers and the board says yes, we're going to play. Now, as soon as they give me the lineups, technically I can say, you know, nope, feels not good enough. I'm not going to let these kids play on this field. You can do that. Okay, now it's up to the umpires to decide whether the game goes or not. And it's your game until you leave the field at the end of play. So until you leave the field, it's your game.